Morning and welcome back to the Epic Land and we are here for the finals, the grand finals, the one and only, the map that you've all been waiting for. But frankly, really, the game that everybody knew was going to happen. It is going to be Apex <laughs> versus Phantasmagoria. Apex coming through the lower bracket after getting lamed early on yesterday morning because Mark Horner was an hour and a half late. Uh, that's yeah. pretty late. That, that is. He went really to bed early late. last night, though, so Apparently he made sure so. he's here on time. Yep. But, but Lauren, you. You were with Fantasy last night. They were they were Phantasmagoria, yep. I should say, not with Fantasy. That was, I don't want to wow. start spreading the rumors okay, straight away. You were with Phantasmagoria yeah. last night, so they're feeling pretty confident. Yeah, they were. We've uh, we've we've gone through the maps. We've seen what they would feel. They'd be strong on what you think. Obviously, the opposing side will be strong on, and they came to the conclusion mm, they'll probably take us on back lot, or at least think they'll be strong on it. And actually, that's not happened at all. So they've both been thrown off here by. Um, I believe it was um, the elimination, basically. They, they thought it was going to be picked straight away, and it was. So they, they've, they, it's going to be interesting to see how it turns out, actually, because Phantasmagoria are always strong in this map, but actually so are Apex. It's one of the good ones, you know, because everyone can play it. And Toxgy, he's not going to struggle on here either as a new mix, new Merc to the uh, addition. But as well as Chubi, strong player, I doubt he'll have any issues. But um, yeah, everyone is fresh-faced and ready to go early nights all round. Uh, Apex and Phantasmagoria are in the same hotel, and... Uh, no partying last night, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely not. There was a rounding up at 1 a.m. to get them to the bedrooms and uh, get, to, get to sleep. <laughs> Folks, it's time. You were rounding them up to yep. get them in the bedrooms at, well, at, at 1 a.m. it wasn't just fantasy. Okay. It could have been worse. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We're not going down that road. <laughs> Uh, so we're just waiting for the teams to sort themselves out. I think they just yep. need to knife no, for I the side. They they've already knifed. Yep. Okay. So Phantasmagoria on the attacking side here on strike. So I'd say the advantage goes to them. I know how they like to play this. But I also know that Apex likes to play very slowly. They, they sometimes even happily drop both SMGs on defense and have a 4AK one scope roll kind of happening there. And they really control the dynamic of the map and keep them at a real arm's length to it. So it'll be interesting to see how Phantasmagoria play against that, because they're mm -hmm. renowned for being very slow as well. You can hear Vey get himself ready. Just vote Well, this is the one. thing. They're sat next to each other. Yeah. They are They are on a row. It's a almost like a finals, because they're all on a row next to each other. Yeah. And they're gonna be, there's going to be banter going between them. Massively. Certainly Vey is definitely going to be <laughs> shouting it yeah, pretty loud and proud. Uh, so these guys, you know, coming into it, Phantasmagoria definitely going to be the favourites. They were the favourites coming into yep. the whole event. But Apex are not a team to be messed with. You know, they are both solid teams. And, you know, Apex, I would say, have probably got a stronger lineup they've been around because obviously you've got you got Chibi as a technically a Merc. Yep. But uh, we are going to go live into the first round of the finals here. Chibi going for the B-Split. Going out B-Link though. This is the slower B-Push that Phantasmagoria have kind of patented now. Taking on the XTCM style the play there. Jermaine Lane the first nade onto Cesium Fire. Coming towards Chibi. Decides to drop out the smoke to allow himself a chance to enter the site. But a player pushing close. And Rio just around that wall is a player. Jermaine gets the shot onto the Punisher, a.k.a. Mark Tochi with the reply. Advantage to Phantasmagoria. Now Chubi pushing through. There's a player just behind them at B. Who is that? It's Leonidas laying in wait. And the B push is happening down the street. And Rio lining up the nade. Drops that out. Chubi now thinking it might be time to start peeking. Will he manage to spot Leonidas? Leonidas gets the tag onto Chubi. Not the frag. Chubi with the reply. Both tagged up slightly. But there's Leonidas with that deagle rattling off towards him. Zabs are now towards A. Let's get under pressure. And Rio nevertheless takes down Leonidas to avenge his fallen brother. Now Kex does land an aid onto Enrio. So, 2v2. Zabs are on the push. Players split on sites here for Apex. I believe it's Kex still alive. The overlay is lying. But Zabs just spite the arm of one dying on that bin. Gets the deal out. Does get the shot to Toxie with the headshot. Now one man stands. It's all on Kex. The X lagger so far. Mm. Can he clutch it for his team? Currently top of the scoreboard on one frag. But uh, let's see if he can add some more to that amount. So, scoping up towards A. Explosive. Yeah, but the time is now taken. Oh, oh connects the shot onto Zabza. 1v1. Chubi, the superstar Merc against Kex, the, uh, well, the veteran scope for Apex. And now Deagle out, getting close as he can to the spawn site. 31 seconds and ticking. He's got an inkling. You can almost smell him though. Just around this corner, and he yes, finds a shot onto Vey. Yes, and there we go. First round <laughs> going to Apex. Shit. You can hear them going wild. Mark Horner. Mark Horner. Mark Horner. <laughs> <laughs> well, the banter is going to be rather rich on this one. I, can I, be I believe it's going to be strong language required early PG morning. The uh, rating has been removed. <laughs> so we're going to get straight into it. And we saw Zabs again taken down by Kex with that scope. Zabs is going to have a look, peek down street straight away, see if you can see Kex on that stairwell. Not there though. Gonna switch back, go the grenades. Jermaine does manage to land that opening grenade onto Toxie. Sees him taking plant room. Looks like Vey and Co. Actually, Chubi's already in there. Chubi on statute, so A, definitely the strong push at the moment for Phantasmagoria. 
Chibi makes his way around. Grenades come through. Still nobody going down to the grenades. Kex has taken down Zabza. So Scope winning again for Kex. Uh, we talk about Zabza possibly struggling on when it comes to a final. The pressure coming on. Kex certainly going big already for his team there. That will give him a massive confidence boost. Cesium has taken down Jermaine there. Chibi gets the bomb down. Has to dodge through the smoke. Oh. But Kex is there again. Where is that man? Turns around. Scopes across again towards the back corner house. Doesn't manage to make the shot. Three on two. Phantasmagoria in a desperate defensive move here. Deagle coming around the backside. He knows there's one there. He's just going to show himself. He's behind that bin. It is Vey taking down Cesium. Phantasmagoria are trying their best to defend this one. Vey on the back out corner. He's got Mark and Kex coming in at him. There's Mark. Mark manages to find one. Kex finds the other. And the defuse is surely going to come in. And it will be the Punisher. That's assuming he doesn't make a mistake like yeah, Henry did it. yesterday. <laughs> but, uh, wow, good start. Yeah, I, I think Apex is feeling quite comfortable right now. And well, Kex, Kex doing the hard work zero. apparently. Kex. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, really leading the way so far. I'm gonna pick it up with him. Everyone did doubt him recently. There's a lot of uh, well, he lags online. It's in a massive advantage. Well, he seems to step up to play when it matters. Mm. So scoping up towards B, checking that cross. He knows it. But oh, oh wow! Straight out of there, Zabza. Don't you dare challenge Kex right now because he is on fire. So now adjusting where he's standing. Where is the push happening? It is towards B. Leonidas is going to be under severe pressure right around him shortly as it is his duty to hold this B entrance. Upon the gates, and they are approaching. So now adjusting, allowing the Punisher to look across. Everyone rotating around. Nades landing towards Randaz Magoria. Got to be careful. The Mead brothers holding as best they can. They don't want to overly peek too much here. Leonidas swagging from has to adjust once again. Further and further back they go. And now Nades raining in towards B. I wonder if they're going to connect. Too sure, I don't think they are just in front of Kex and Smoke now in retort. Just one for himself. Very slow intensity push over. There we go. Kex connects the nade onto Chubi. An advantage firmly to Apex this round. So Kex now curious to answer the A. Punisher at this point of eight. Two standing for Phantasmagoria. Where are those two? Enrio by B. Punisher taking down Jermaine. It's all on Enrio here. Can he get the ace? Can he get the five man to keep his team in good spirits? So, SMG by B-Bins. This is a big ask. Two people with long-range weapons staring right at him. Right, flashing out. This is his chance to move on. He's got to get moving. He's got to get running. Got to get the damage done and done quickly. 27 seconds and counting. And the Punisher is there, punishing from around the corner. Three-round advantage early on to Apex. Great start. And wow. Zabza's struggling. <coughs> Zabza <coughs> is struggling. He's been... At Kex is just on fire right now. You can see eight frags already. Three maps in. Three maps in, three rounds in. We won't get three maps, unfortunately, it could only be two maximum. To be fair to Apex, they did say <laughs> I could do it with a quick one, do you mind losing fast? And Leo's just like, if we start losing, I'm just going to time out, just because of you. <laughs> I'm just going to time out and just hold, oh, lame Pex all the way. Kex again takes down Enrio. Kex is on fire right now here in the finals. Can he carry it through? Zabza's looking for him. Knows he's around that back corner house, but he just can't get a glimpse of him. And there is Kexi. Kexi, you can see he's moved to the left hand side. He's got eyes on Zabza. Zabza does take down Mark, though, straight away. Gets tagged up, backs away. Leonidas taking down Chubi. It is just Zabza and Vey standing. Cesium manages to find Vey. Grenade goes towards him on that bomb. Smoke goes out. Will he manage to get the bomb plant in? He has. And now Zabza just off the side there, trying to protect it. They both go down, though. And that is a 4-0 defensive start. Strong, strong stuff from Apex here. Yeah, and I don't think anyone could have expected this. Everyone was behind Thunder's McGuire. I think you're the little Myself included. Game. Yeah, I said it as well. We are both going, oh, this is pretty good one map. This is going to be quick. It's going to be easy. But actually, Apex must have heard us and, you know, well, taking a bit of a stand to it. So, can't deny watching Kex right now. He is, well, leading away by a long shot. The closest person near him on either side is on four frags and he's on nine. He's not died once. So now it's going across the street. Spots on the oh. And does connect it beautifully upon Chubi, taking down that fast SMG rusher. Poor Fandas Magoria looking towards Kaf. Zabza lands one on Cesium. That's going to help him pick back up those confidence and uh, move on. So nothing much happening. A push coming out from Fandas Magoria. Enrio making his way towards a statue proning down. Every corner could contain a player hiding. So he's cautious, he's careful, he doesn't overly peek anything here. Drops out the swag, allowing his teammates to move up a touch and hopefully get across with that bomb. So, players in wait by the bins. I can imagine Nades will be raining out shortly. Just for now, it's just let's secure this bomb site and get moving. Here comes the fire and Rio under pressure. And there we go, the punish is down to Jermaine. Can they rack up some more frags and give Fatis Maria a chance into this round? Let's see, Toxie on the push. Jermaine holding there from top over, like a critical position right now. 
He's got to hold that three and spot that, that will be Kex. He's got to be careful. He doesn't want to beat the man right now. He's demolishing anything inside. Zaps does get a bomb down now. So clock ticking in favor to Phantasmagoria. Does get tagged from behind. But there we go. Leonidas takes down Jermaine. So now that street is open and ready to be pushed. Oh, they somehow landing those bullets onto Kex. Zaps are looking towards front A. And there we go. Toshi landing the shot onto Vey in reply to V2. Tox G and Leonidas against Zabza and then Rio. Leonidas now onto the bomb site. And brought to hand. Rafa Lawson shot starts to get tagged up from the boy. On that bomb site now darting across. Feeling aggressive. Feeling ready to go with the Deagle to hand. Can he make it land? Zabza gets one. And then Rio with another. Finally, fan get themselves into this game. I feel like jump at the wrong time there. Yeah. I think that's what seemed to just throw his aim off. And he was all sort of set and ready for that one with the iron sights on and then just jumped randomly, poking out. And there is Zabza on your screen. We're following him here. And he's going to scope once again. See if he can find Kex. Kex has been landing the opening frag the last few rounds running. This time it doesn't seem to be. And he's got himself in a good position towards B. Where is Kex though? Kex in that corner possibly. Where is he? He's in the house. He's gonna, if he steps out on that balcony, he's in all sorts of trouble. He peeks across. He's not going to go for it. And Kex has had to rotate right back around towards B-side. Uh, towards the spawn, sorry. Henry Oak throwing out smoke. Oh, throws Zabza with that grenade on Leonidas. Surely that's going to make Fantasy make that move. Phantasmagoria are going to work in. I keep saying Fantasy. Don't know why. Leonidas and Mark. Last two standing for Apex. Where are they? Oh, Kex again with a grenade on Zabza. Zabza is just not having much fun against Kex at the moment. Mark making his way. No, J Jermaine just down there. Gets tagged up heavily. Oh, and Kex takes down Jermaine. Would you believe it? It's a two-on-two. Two. Kex is just going huge right now. And there goes Mark Vey. Oh, double frag. Back to back. Lined up. The barrel is used. But 12 frags already oh, wow. for Kex. Wow. Insane the 40 is on. <laughs> yeah, on for the 40. I remember Mark's hanging up with that at one of the AAF events. And it went very poorly. Let's just say he's on for the 4. More than 40 for Kex now. Not going for the uh, straight up peak. Actually, maybe it's a B. I'm going to go aggressive. I'm going to peek straight out here. There's a player just in front of Jermaine landing the nade. Oh, 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 it's a double. Plus 10. Me Would brothers you believe down it? and out. Kex is having the best bit of luck. For oh, oh my Tag word. Oh, and the Deagle. good Kex, lord. You're a monster right Sexy now. Sexy god from Kex. is happening and it's going so perfectly. Two people stand now for Phantasmagoria, Zabza and Chubi. Well, actually, it can't be Chubi. He just went down. The overlay bug coming in strong. So, Vey and Zabza, can they pick up the pieces? It is Phantasmagoria. He's now looking towards B, expecting the rotate. It's not going to happen. Zabza now adjusting accordingly. Feeling like the player may be seen by those baskets. And I think there is one. That's going to connect Vey with the fire onto the palm. He does manage to land the shot onto Cesium, who is tagged up heavily, though. Now, they trying to help him out. Peeking round and Toxie's there to take down Zabs on one man stands. It's all on Vey, 1v4. It's one towards the palm, there's one just in front of him, can't oh, land the dead. shot. On, the barrel is withdrawn and Toxie gets the frag. <laughs> so Apex back into taking those rounds. Just away. stocking it back up. <laughs> and Kex, though, is a monster right now. Absolutely he unreal. Does, it's just hitting everything. 15 frags already, oh, more wow. than his entire team put together. He's just cocking them up. He's waiting to see if Zabs is going to move. Zabs didn't show there. Zabs is the other side. So it's going to be an A push. The team will realize it. They're going to rotate in. Zabza's going aggressive here. He did just have one in front of him. And Mark takes down Zabza again. Jermaine going into Overlook. And Chubi tried to work his way in there. But Cesium was there again. Leonidas on stairs. Keeping that street clean. And Jermaine now is the last man standing. Took down, Ve uh, took down Mark. Sorry. And you can see they already know he's an Overlook. They know where he is. He's getting tagged up. Toxie takes him down. 6-2. What a great defensive yeah. start here for Apex. Yeah, they've got to be happy with this one. Because Phantasmagoria are very strong on attack. That B push usually works so perfectly for them. But with Leonidas and Kex are waiting to receive them. The B just doesn't seem to be working. So more focusing towards A and Street. And Rio dropping out the nade. Chubi on the push. Chubi dropping out one for himself. Trying to get hold of A as fast as possible. But you can see how much Apex are focusing on just controlling the street. They're all by B. They've been won by double palms. And it's going to rotate around and oh, pretty much capture them in A. So now smoke's coming out. Chubi waiting for that little head to pop around the corner. Nothing happening. Trying to secure the site for his teammates and allow the bomb to cross and get in. Now smoke pluming in front of just about everyone. Fire coming in left, right, center, but nothing connecting really. Zabza is tagged up, but there's a player just through the miss. Who is it? It was Mark who'd snuck in, but then Rio found him and took him down. Jermaine onto Leonidas. Three members stand for Apex. Got to see if Kex is still up, and he is. He's the danger man of the moment. Leonidas, Tokchi, and Kex still alive. So spots one towards that Mitchell area. Can he land the shot? Just seeing an arm, him. yeah, just peeking out. He's just trying to keep his attention. So now Jermaine onto Cesium. Yeah. 
the bros taking each other out here. So now Kex has to go big and he can't do it. And Rio takes a stand and finally gets another round on the board for Fantasma Magoria, but they need a lot more right now. They do need a lot more. Spin back to Kex as well, because he's on Kex fire. He needs it. He needs, he needs it at the moment. He's absolutely on fire. See if he finds anything up there. Oh, he does, but he didn't make it through the smoke this time. Maybe suddenly things are starting to settle in. Phantasmagoria maybe starting to get their grind on here. And Rio's going to work his way in straight through to Statue. He's got one to the left of him. He's not really aware of him. It was Cesium. Cesium getting, making good positions. Zabza tosses out that nade. He's got Vey with him. Zabza's going to take a peek. Jermaine's taking down Toxie. Ooh, one just flashes past. Kex has taken down Jermaine. There goes Leonidas on Zabza. It's a two on two. I <laughs> scratch that. It's a two on one. It is Vey at the moment working his way through. Kex is the last man standing for Apex. Let's see where he is. He's tagged up heavily. He's got a lot of work to do. Peeking back towards that street. Bomb goes down. They know which way it's going to come in surely. They tagged him up heavily. They're going to have their eyes trained on this entrance. As soon as he peeks over. He takes a look. He's got one to his left. He's not going to spot him. Oh, surely he would have been seen there. Instead, he tries to draw, thought he saw a glitch, and then gets drawn by Chibi. Very nicely played. 6-4, they're pulling back into it. Yeah, they're definitely picking up the pace now. They're feeling the pressure is on, and they've got to be landing these early shots, getting these sights opened. Now, let's see what they're up to. Zabs now on attack. Bomb to hand, very paradox-esque. Giving the freedom of the bomb to adapt and rotate as freely as he can. He's not really tied down to a certain role, but feeling like he wants to be cap. Not being challenged too much. Punisher trying to make his way into the aid, but there we go, Jermaine lands and and Zabs is there onto Punisher. An advantage straight into the hands of Pandas Magoria. Where are they planning to go? In Rio taking on Aber. Toxi lands and Aiden Leonidas with the M4 frag onto Tubi. It's all even. Back and forth it goes. Now, is Kex still alive? That is a question. Yes, he is. The danger man, the man who's making all the odds. Zabs and nevertheless landing the lead onto Toxi. Leading only two. Leonidas will rotate. And Kex towards the A cross. So, Leonidas pushing around. I think Jermaine was aware of a possibility, but will he catch him off guard? Smoke allowing that bomb to cross Jermaine and Leonidas. Here we go, 1v1 just in by the spawn. And Leonidas somehow connects that headshot. What a fantastic bit of play from him. Now 2v2. He's still up. Zabza with the deagle taking down the... Yes, yes, there we go. Somehow they finding the shot onto Kex, who just was... Well, just didn't seem to turn up that it's round. that barrel. It was ready. Yeah, the barrel was ready to roll. The barrel was ready. So let's see... Where Vey is going to go, he's got a fairly early fresh spawn. He's going to go back and pick the bomb up. <laughs> it's not going to quite follow him then. Let's try and spin to an SMG. He's got the Tubi brothers. The Tubi brothers? The Mead brothers. Tubi, Tubi's, to be fair, Tubi's been holding the glory a lot this event. He's been doing pretty damn well. Pretty he's going to make his way. Coming in as a Merc. Managed to make that frag on towards Leo. Leo did take down Rio while he was making his way through. Oh, he's got Kix just rotating round to the right-hand side. He's going to go instead in towards the bottom of building. Looking for that sniper. Trying to find Kex, and he is just around the corner. They are playing a cat and mouse game, walking, ch chasing each other around the walls. I think Tubi's just realised it, and Kex just goes upstairs. He's above. Is he going to peek down? I can't seem to look at him, so it's not Kex. Explosive Mark, planted. in fact. Where are you, Mark? There you are. So he's got Tubi directly below him. Tubi is coming up. Tubi is on a hunt, and I think Mark's going to drop down. There we go. Oh, oh, he fail oh, jumped flying. straight to Tubi's crosshair. And would you believe it's all square 6-6 six, six after such a fantastic start. Kex is like, come on, guys, need to carry you. Yeah, my, my back's starting to hurt. What, what's going on? Um, I wonder what's going to happen here. I'm not sure if they're going to go for a smoke break. They're going to have a little team He's chat. He's fucking shit. <laughs> French. Uh, <laughs> you can see both the sides just having a little chat with each other, just uh, refreshing themselves. They'll be going back live as soon as possible. But yeah, Phantasmagoria, they, they really got themselves back into that one. It was a bit of a sh shaky start, to say the least. Why is Tubi sat over there? Um, because he was literally so close to... Oh, they could to, they talk. Could hear, yeah, they could hear the comms. And Sanjay, well, sees him. He's very much a, uh, you know, one of the leaders towards the Apex side. And as is Tubi, he can be very good right, at... Right, so they, they shuffled. So yeah, you don't want them near each other. Because they hear each other, you know you can adapt. Mm -hmm. So Leonidas are uh, looking very concentrated for once. Normally, uh, it's, <laughs> it's uh, more cheerful, Leonidas. But he's, he's being uh, outshone by the likes of Kex today. But yeah, Fandas Magoria, a bit of a shaky start, but as soon as they got themselves back into it, they really started to build up. Jermaine's but, uh, looking pretty confident now, I think. He's talking. Yeah. He's talking. Yeah. He's not just staring at the screen. No, no, he's, he's doing a full-on team talk here by the looks of it. Indeed. The thing is, though, you look at Apex, and they played well, don't get me wrong. 
but it was Kex. Yeah. Kex played well. Kex <laughs> won them those six rounds, basically. He's on 16 to 6. He's dropped. Yeah, I'm gonna do that now. Um, I think that would be. I'm not sure. Where? Who am I thinking about? Leo. No, Leo says. Leo's He's um, Alpha. No, Alpha's not here. Not here. Toxie, rather. There we are. Toxie. The one I'm after. The man with a million PC problems has dropped. That's there he is. Good sign. He's back to his desk, though. You can see Baker in the back with Metal and a couple of others. But yeah, th this game is going to be very much who turns up you know, best of the day. You know, on paper, they're very even. Yeah, it was right interesting now, discussing it's, it's with the, um, the, the the COD4 players, all the other players of the other teams, all out there, and basically saying we all want Phantasm and Gurria to win because nobody wants Apex to win this one. Yeah, that's Lampex yeah, have, yeah, have, have really, really took a lot of flak yeah, lately. Yeah, the they, they, took it, they took the heat off Western Wolves. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, Western Wolves, they had almost a legitimate reason to do it in a way. It was, it was quite understandable, but Apex, they lost once, they lamed. Okay. Oh, but, but, but they but, lost the but second nobody time. But nobody else they in Western Wolves knew the lane was coming. It was just, just, <laughs> just Tubi on his own yeah, went off and did it. Yeah, and they were kind of like, hmm, yeah. okay, we've, yeah. we've, we've lamed someone. Yeah, you, you know, but they, they had legit reasons. Um, People lied about a player and they, you know, used someone else's guide and tried to sneak it in there. And that oh, was pretty, you know, underhand. But everything was above board. PMP showed up with their lineup and they're like, yeah, we've got a Merc here. If you guys want an issue, let us know, whatever, you know. And it happened. And then they had the issue after they left. Okay, that's a bit of a dodgy thing to do. But the uh, second time around was just a real salt in the wounds. So now Kex just taking a drink. Kex looks happy. Yeah, he, well, I think he's I'm sitting back looking, it's feeling cash. Just chilling. Chilling like a villain. It looks like I've got moves here. Look, doesn't it look like they're moves? <laughs> the shadows, they are great. pectorals, honestly, now. There's chest there. They're not moves. They're not moves, <laughs> you. are sure? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Get the rumours going, why don't you? Well, there was fantasy this morning. So <laughs> it was fantasy this morning. I might as well get the others. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the guys are going to have a quick break here. Well, they're not. They've not gone up and moved anywhere. You can oh, see there's a, the, the, the it's talking it through, rest really, of the players yeah. have gathered to uh, watch this one. There's lovely dividers of cardboard. Yes, classy as ever. Mark and the red grapes in shot. Is that, is that the red grapes? I think that's, I'm not sure. like the container. No, that's not It's the container. Oh, no, no, no. It looks like no, box of tissues or something. Oh, where's he been up to? No, it's a graphics card. Oh, there hole. we go. There yeah, we go. No, no. Yeah, it's a graphics yeah, card. Yeah, but Mark box. Horner is literally sponsored and powered by Red Grapes <laughs> it's, it's like, you know, people go for the red. Leo had them ready and waiting for yeah, him in the morning. It's like, I've got to keep him happy. Well. <laughs> Don't be awful. <laughs> so. We so how well Zamsa yeah. done? Zamsa's it, he's, after you know have a shaky start. He's done very well. He's up to up there. It's Enrio and well you know the SMGs. It's not really an SMG map. To be That's fair. the thing. Yeah. yeah. The way that Apex play, they're very defensive, very passive, and they depend on their AKs and the sit back. And it's very hard to push. So let's see if uh, well let's see if Apex can do any better. Basically, we're going to go live into the second half of the first map. So here we go. I'm going to have to watch Kex here. I want to see how he does on the attacking side. He's got a lot more freedom now and a lot more chance to take on Zabza. And he does do that. But onto Enrio, catching him with his pants down there in the B alley. He's now following up with a nate. Chuby on the push, on the prowl towards Kex. There's one just behind it. He's heard it. It's a very dufferous position. But there we go. Zabza lands shot onto Cesium. He's towards the street. Now they under pressure. One on such a Justin Pump, who is, I guess, a tag onto Tokshi. But Tokshi goes down to the AK fire of they. With team play there. Now Chuby. Oh, is he going to be pushed at the worst time? Let's see. He's holding the tightest corner. There's a play through the takes down case. And oh, wow. Juby explodes onto Kaff, and now one man stands for Apex. It's Leonidas. He's got a car, and that's all he wants right now. He doesn't want to leave spawn, really. He's just kind of like meandered <laughs> down the street. the drive off. I'll wait here. Where's my keys? He's just kind of like going through his pockets. Oh. He spots one front front nevertheless, and does get the tag onto Juby and the frag with the headshot. Three remain. Will he decide to move? Let's find out. Yeah, he's gone towards another car now, towards B-Link, does spot a player just towards the back. I'm not sure who that would be, actually, but Deagle to hand. He's rough and ready to go. So, on towards the B-Site. 35 seconds on the board. He's got enough time to do what he wants, really. He's got a lot of freedom here. There's a player just in B-Shots in front of him. Who is that? It's Zamsa laying in wait. And, uh, I wonder if that's going to catch Leonidas off guard. So, 25 seconds and counting. He's got to get moving, get towards one of these sides because Zabza is raring to go. Gets tagged up across the map, only lightly, but now Zabza is just to his left. Zabza, turn around. What are you doing? And there's Zabza to put out his misery. First round going to Phantasmagoria in the second half here. So, big important start for Phantasmagoria after, yeah. I think it was 4 0 deficit yeah, it was, it at the start. It was, it was very shaky. Very start. shaky defensive, uh, sorry, attacking start yeah. by Phantasmagoria. They did manage to pull themselves into it, figured out what Apex were doing, and managed to get themselves into that site. Can Apex do the same? Zabs are going for a couple of free shots through the smoke, didn't find anything there. Cesium does take down Chibi, no double frags for you this time in CAF. 
Let's have a look around. Leonidas taking down Jermaine there. That's, that was straight up street, actually. And Rio in position. Cesium did get dropped by Vey. And Rio covering off that A site. Nobody showing for him. Leonidas with the bomb. It's coming across B. Takes down Zabza nicely. Going to have Enrio just to the left-hand side. Enrio's actually not moving towards him. For spots one in the garage there. And it was Vey that gets taken down by Mark. And now Enrio is the last man standing. He's got a four-on-one to go big here. Now, yesterday, Phantasmagoria had a couple of players going huge in rounds back to back. At the moment, I think this is a huge, huge ask for him. Toxie is sat ready and waiting for Enrio. Is he going to overlook? Where did Enrio go? Where are you, Enrio? Trying to find you, trying to find you. There he is. He's coming across straight to statue. Didn't even get a chance to put off a bullet. And Toxie was there, 7-7, seven, seven, all square, tit for tat. Yeah, tit for tat indeed. I'm curious to see how fans are playing with the SMGs. It does seem as though Tubi is the only one. For, oh no, Enrio's gone back to it. He only picked up AK that round just to test the waters, it seems. So Zabza now me. onto Kex, does land the shot. Now that's going to really boost his confidence and keep him back into this game. Nevertheless, Punisher dropping the nade into Enrio. He's been really shut down so far in this map. He's got to pick himself back up. Mark on the prowl with the Deagle. He knows there's another around here. Just not sure where. To open the side up for his teammates. All even 4v4 smoke in front of him. There's a player just behind that wall. And the nades are coming in thick and fast. He just managed to sneak away into B shops. But Chubi does land well onto Toxie. Advantage for Phantasmagoria now. They've got to start working to B side. The picks aren't going to keep happening. Fan will sit in and just hunker in and just wait for the players to come to them. So now Mark on the push, checking the left, checking the right. There's a player just to his right, though. He's not managed to spot him, and this could be a huge issue. There we go, Jermaine out of the corner, takes down Mark. Now Jermaine has to defend B and Cesium's there straight away with the AK fire, taking him out of this game. Now 3v2, Zamza watching the entrance. And uh, Chubi still pushing. Chubi does make the fit and socks onto Leonidas. One man stands, where is Cesium? He somehow snuck his way into spawn house. One on to Zabza. Dart up a calm 180 around. And there is the lead with Phantasmagoria for the first time, I think, actually. No, no, second time. They, second time. they took the 7 6 lead on, uh, already. It was only a couple of rounds ago, you know. Testing I'm your old, memory. Yeah, you obviously passed it in terms really? of gaming yeah, stages now. Much. Yeah. What am I? <laughs> Dinosaur. Zabza versus Kexi. Kexi, oh, he didn't manage to make that shot. He certainly would have made that in the first round. Finally, Ooh. the third time of asking, managed to land it. Jermaine just didn't move. He stayed like a statue. Speaking of that statue, we've got Toxie with the nade out. Oh, and there it is. Zabza goes straight into that nade through the smoke. It is just Enrio now, last man standing. Where is he? Doesn't matter. Kex found him. 8-8. Eight, eight. Indeed, we can still see Kex doing rather well. 19 to 8. It's pretty good for anyone standard. So he's got a front one here. I'm wondering if he's going to challenge Zabza again. He's been getting the better of him a couple of times, but in the last round, we did see him shut him down. So will he adjust himself accordingly? Yeah. The lower people does manage to spot Zabza. He's more focused on the three. He does want to manage through smoke to just take down Toxchi. to get eyes on him. Chubi holding cap. Where is the push coming in from? More of a B split here, but there's only four men standing for Apex. They have to be very careful. They can't overextend. They can't peek carelessly. Zamza holding calf. It's going to be a stalemate, I can imagine, for quite some time. No one really wants to risk too much. Leonidas getting tagged up a touch. Now moves out of B bins. There we go, sees him onto Vay, all even 4v4. And they rack up another. Yes, they can. Kex onto Jermaine and Kex as well. No one can deny the man of how good he is right now. Zamza does spot Leonidas by that card. He can't manage to connect the dots. And there. Oh, spots the foot on the card there and the tag. Zamza. Take him down, please. There we go. Finally with a headshot onto Leonidas. 3v2, nevertheless. Advantage to Apex as Kex is just dropping player after player. There is his for assistance to his left and right now. Just dropping out the smoke so people can cross. Enrio has to get moving. Zabs and Nellis takes down Cesium. It's all 2v2, all even. Enrio on the rotate round. There is danger man Kex still in a mark trying desperately to run with that bomb get towards the a side but will it be call of guard trying to cross the street let's see does get in somehow 20 seconds now and ticking Kex looking towards the bins picks up an AK now has to really cover up every single possible push looking towards the street and there's a player just in front of him does find the frag onto Enrio Zabza 1v2 and takes down punch with an 8 and now the clock is ticking where is Kex? He's going for the frag. Four seconds and counting. Kex, can you find it? Yes, you can. Wow. That was a little bit close for comfort. <laughs> wow. Kex is going huge again now. Up to 20. At the moment. He's got to be happy with that performance so far. 9-8.
Apex, remember, the need to win this map to take it to a second map. Oh, and he misses the shot onto Zabza there. It was a quick flick shot. Often a tricky one to make. But generally, you see these guys just make them so often. You kind of get used to it. Looking through smoke, not really finding anyone. Jermaine was there. He takes down Mark as soon as he comes round. They're going to be well aware of his position. Sees him looking. Kex going back. Trying to get a scope across towards Statue. Anything down street. Jermaine again takes down Leonidas this time. Cesium, they're having problems with him. Kex is going to have to try and get over there and support him. Because Leonidas, sorry, Jermaine is ripping the pit team apart. He tries to get in towards B. He can't do a damn thing about it. Cesium just didn't show himself. He knows he's behind them bins, and he is. He is just round that corner behind them bins. Staying in that corner behind that brick wall. Cesium's now going to make his way across. He's got to reload it, and there it is. Kex with the shot onto Jermaine. That was the support they were waiting for. I think Cesium was just trying to push him into that spot. And now Kex is going to be scoping. Oh, catches a glimpse. Oh, and because Zabs are on the backside there. Didn't take him down. Switches the M4. Couldn't quite get the frag, though. Backs away. Tag on towards Kex this time. Cesium is there on Enrio. Zabs are, though, with a deagle onto Tokshe. It is a two on three. Kex smokes up the bomb. He's got bomb in hand. Cesium does find Zabza. So that's going to clear the bomb plan town now. Phantasm Aguri are going to have to move. Chubi on towards the bomb. He knows he's rattling off. He manages to find the tag on towards Kex. And I don't think the bomb went down. He didn't. He's got it all to do. Two on one. He's got to go for that plan. But he's got one just above. One to the side. He just manages to find one. He thinks he's through the wall. He realizes he's above. He's above. He comes through there. Takes down Chubi. He's got three seconds. And Rio has just run and hide. Uh, Vay, sorry, has run and hide. Doing the... Doing what he needed to do, 9 9 all square. Yeah, doing what uh, Zabza couldn't pull off him when they found the, when Kex found him last time. So let's see what's happening here. Cesium switching up with uh, Punisher. And who else has the SMG? Actually, Tokshi picking up the SMG now for the attacking side. Let's pick it up with him. I haven't seen much of him in this game. He's been very quiet with an 8 now landing in front. Time to get pushes spots on the street. Can he get the frag? Why did Jermaine tags him up heavily? Oh, just misses him as he darts away towards those B-bins. Now it has to be... Oh, in reply, Jermaine just readjusts and just drops him straight away. Then on to Cesium. Kex under pressure. He's got to adjust, got to move, got to stay alive somehow to V5. This is a big ask for anyone. Kex... Oh, lands it onto Enrio. Can't find the second, but I think with a second more, he might have actually been able to land that. So now Leonidas, 1v3. It's still possible. Bomb to hand. He can do this. One minute and three seconds. That's a lot of time to play with as well. So towards Calf, the A assault is definitely on. Checking his corners just, just in case. This is when it matters. This is the biggest thing. This is the biggest match for this event. So every peak counts. So back around. Nothing happening at Calf from back to the street. Oh, Zabs are just awaiting the peak. Taking them down and keeping it so close. Very, very down. close stuff yeah, here. Very tense. So let's, let's keep with those scopes. Kex. Hasn't had as much luck, I'd say, in the attack, but he's definitely been racking up those frags. 25, way ahead of anyone on his team, and a headshot on Zabza straight away. And that's got to give Apex that little bit of momentum. Tokshi takes down Tubi as well. You can see Mark going in. Can he get the double? He can. He takes down Jermaine and Vey. And wow, Enrio now last man standing. Just his team has dissolved around him, and he switched to the AK-47, confusing me again, because I was looking for the SMG. But yeah, five on one. No pressure. Takes down Mark. Now you know exactly where he is. Tagging him up through the wall. They're pressing on him. Cesium there. 10 10. All square once again. Yeah, pressure now mounting onto Apex as well. You know, if they, if they can't get these rounds in, well, that's it for them. So let's see what Mark can do. He did a lovely little plus 10 last round. He's got a nice spawn to work with. He's fancying the B push now. Straight out of Link. Pooping down the street in front of him, allowing him to switch across pretty easily. Holding the push, not being too aggressive. You can see how much restraint he's playing with. Usually Mark was the guy to dial in there straight away and just cause the damage nice and quick. And that's not happening these days. He's taking his time, being careful, being cautious. Now, look at them waiting. This is literally a waiting game of pure patience. Jermaine vertinating out. Smooth in front. Will that connect? No, it doesn't. So, switching around. Zabza needs to start helping towards B. No, sir, there. Jermaine is very much going to be the Ranger when this happens. So, Mark on the push, on the prowl down B Street. He's, he's got Border waiting. He wants to get going now. He wants to get started. So now around the corner he goes, but then Rio's there to greet him with a hello and drops him down with that AK fire. Leonidas just testing the water towards B, but can't slam the shot onto the opposing scope, which was Zabza or even for B4. Where are these players going? Chubi trying to rotate out there, but you can see they're all waiting on the street to find them. And there we go. He gets tagged up heavily, drops down into the prone just to try and escape. 
The fire is happening and happening right around base. Somehow taking down Cesium with the explosion of the car. Oh, wow, Chuby, what a deagle. Leonidas onto Jermaine. So that B-site is now definitely open. Leonidas onto Chuby. The man's on a mission and it's not stopping anytime soon. Can he get the last? No, he can't. In Rio stands tall with that SMG. Now Kex 1v2. AK to hand. Bomb as well. Bomb going in. Oh, no, he can't. Base there straight through smoke. And well, that's gone right back into it. Easy, boys. The shout. That's Vey, obviously. You can hear. Pretty loud and pretty proud at the moment. So Zamza not had a great start. Kex has been the man in his face all the way through and Kex has got to be racking up them caps. Wow, nearly dropping a 30. 27, Leonidas takes down and Rio. Zamza peaks, nothing coming from it. Jermaine has been holding his B-site so steadily, so strong, slowing down Apex approach every time they try to get in here. He has got one on the wall. But Toxie looks like he's ready to mount an attack. Smoke goes down. They're going to move into A here. Any fire being drawn out. Trying to see if Zabs is looking. And wow, that smoke's going to clear before he even moves. Leonidas does to find Vey. And Rio also down. He's saying, guys, A site's clear, I think. Yeah, Tuxia, he wants the call. He wants the bomb in it. Tosses out Nade. Oh, he's got one coming around the corner any second. He's not looking in that way. Why would you not be looking there? He's trying to check the corners. But Chibi was there. Jermaine has two with him now. Jermaine's going to try to make the cross across. They know exactly where he is. Cesium has been tagged up pretty heavily by Jermaine. Jermaine's getting completely pinned there. Leonidas takes him down. Chuby comes back around, takes down Cesium. Zabza now coming oh, looking. Chuby goes huge. Suddenly Apex with that advantage now. They do have Mark though. And they have Mark all the time. The Horner, who's not been dropping that many frags this round, is definitely there when it counts. <laughs> And that's what they need. That is exactly what they need right now. They need that consistent mark play that you can get every now and then just to secure these rounds. Toxi picking up the SMG now. Straight in towards A. Does run out smoking A. Spots while on statues. Will be cautious. He's calling to his teammates. Guys, get those peaks in. Get picking. Get working with those AKs. Now onto the street. Much happening with him. Mark on the prowl towards B. He's just holding the push. Toxi on the street now. Trying to take as much of this map as possible. Now the push is on. Feeling aggressive. Over towards Garage. No one dropping yet, no one even being tagged up yet. I'm waiting for Kex to open this one up. It's normally him who'd do it. The Punisher, is he going to be punishing? Leonidas rattling off some shots. Nothing connecting yet. He's raring to go, he wants to go. He's got a feeling there's someone waiting around, but which corner is he at? And will that connect? That is the sad, sad question of it all. Doesn't manage to do so. Sees him on top. Leonidas on the rotate with that bomb towards the B site now. Feeling like this might be the chance that they can get. They need to get signed towards this site. Punisher still checking every corner. Mark is taking no risk here. Such a drilled in player. Playing like this, it's just 9 to 5. So Leonidas though, taking down Jermaine and Rear in reply. Just waiting out Mark there. And that did somehow get the better of him. Zabs up, peeking towards B. But Kex is fancying this A push and liking it a very much a lot. So now. Trying to connect the shot, he knows there's a player behind there. Fire coming out from towards it, but he gets tagged up from the right. But there we go, Vey with the crossfire. Toxie taking down Zabza, nevertheless, with Chubi Enery of the Me Brothers causing all the damage. It's all on Cesium. And where is he? he? is on the statue. Serving a fire, takes down Chubi. There's Vey. And well, oh. match point, folks. Match point is on, guys. Big on, gulp getting from Zabza there. Yeah. And this is match point. Here we go. Let's see how it's going to work out. Zabza's going to peek straight away. Straight up street. Nothing going up B. There's Kex. Kex is looking over at A statue. Finds one. Doesn't land the frag. That could be an important one. They're going to need to make those frags every little chance they get. But you can see Mark's been taken down. He took Jermaine down at the same time. But then Rio was there to support. Cesium coming round. He's got Jermaine actually just to the back side of him. Leonidas takes down and Rio. Leonidas is looking. And he's got the bomb. Possible B. He's going to rotate back around to A. He's obviously had the call come out. He's going to make his way through the mid. Vey. Still trying to do a defensive job. He's got one at Statue just around the side. He's going to give his position away, so he's going to have to back off from that one. I think it's Tokshay that's working his way around. Chuby's also in there with support. Tokshay is indeed the man trying to make his way in towards A site. Zabza ringing out the shots in the distance. Tokshay holds. Let's have a look towards Zabza. Zabza finds one on towards Kex. Hits a three on three. 
The moment of glory is approaching for Phantasmagoria. Toxie is unsure in this one, but Leonidas again is there. Apex are working their way in towards his B site. Zabza is going to have to make his move. Cesium is going looking for him. And there is Toxie on towards Zabza. That's going to clear out the A house. And there is just Chubi. Chubi with it all to do. Where are you, Chubi? It's all square. We're going to have overtime on the first map. 12 12. And Zabza's like, what happened? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> To here, I had a gun and oh, but yeah, we're going over time. Chewy not looking happy with that one, but well, it's, it's always going to be a close game. That's the thing, it was never going to be one sided, and well, we've just seen that happen to an absolute pinnacle. So, just went for him to rejoin and then get underway. But yeah, I think both sides are happy so far. I think they're happy they've had a close game, but this one a little bit uh, one sided so far for these guys. They've had quite an easy run to this point, quite an easy run to this point. This is the first real match, and we knew it was going to be a tough one. Overtime definitely does it justice. It's definitely been a match that's uh, started off so well. 40 frags straight away. Uh, 40 frags? Uh, I, I bet he'd be happy with 40 frags. I think yeah, he definitely got 30 kicks did. Dropping a 30 in the, in the finals on a 12-12 is not bad. Starting off 4-0, though. And he allowed Phantasmagoria to get back into it. There's Kippers and Shot. Just saying hi hey, as he Kippers. coils. Hard at work always here at Quad V. There's one of our microphones picking up. The here their team chatter as much as we can, without completely intruding. Thumbs up. He's, he's not looking happy, is he? No. Maybe it's, maybe it's the headset squashing his hair down. It could be. He takes a lot of time and pride in that in the morning. So he takes longer than I do. He, I think he, he, had he had probably does take that. He, he had a mini hair dryer with him this morning. It was great. Yeah, you, you should try rooming with Joe Miller. <laughs> Joe, 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 just, just call me Joe. The, the hair dries out, the straighteners are out. He's got straighteners as well. Yeah, yeah, he's got to go but the straighteners. I, I, I always see him with like a little beanie hat on. Is yeah, that well, wrong? that's when he hasn't been able to do it. Ah, when he that's doesn't have access to when the, the tools. When the right. access to the tools are not there. Ah, I see. That's a bad sign for him then, but um, no, I, I have seen... Uh, how long did Chewie take on his hair in the morning? Uh, sorry, Enrio. Um, I, I, don't I, think think I don't think it was too long. I don't think it was too long. I think it was, let's dry this off and let's get going. Yeah, the it's just like, I'm up. One, he had like the wax out, he was going all out. We all just went on two players already up now. Actually, they're going to switch teams, I can imagine. Or, uh, bomb, 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 or Jermaine will the switch side. The other way. See Gizor in the back there, came all the way over for this one. He did fairly well as well. You know, he's been out of the game, but he always comes back and enjoys it and always performs. Oh, I can't remember what the team he was in now. It was Fast Switch. That's what he used to be in. Oh, that's a long time yep. ago. Back in my day. Back in my day. When teams were real teams <laughs> and then 20 teams could oh, win the tournament. Mix jazz. We are going to go back into oh another knife. I'm really going to knife. I'm not sure. It doesn't say knife round, so they're going to start, so they're going straight into it, so go for it. Well, jumping in, Chubi leading the charge. The Phantasmagoria side on the attacking side. So now Chubi managed to avoid the nade so far, drops out the flash. There's a guy by Garage, he's got to be careful, he's got to be aggressive, got to get that frag on today, but he can't do it. Marks there with the AK from Garage, raining in the fire. Kex holding it down, Enrio nevertheless shutting down the man who just took down his brother. So all even for V4. Can they work another pick? Can they somehow open up the site further? Enrio on the push, feeling aggressive, feeling ready to go. There's a player just in front of him, around that corner. He's got to be careful. He doesn't want to overly peek. Who will be waiting to receive him? There will be Toshi. The A push is on. So leading the charge. She's on this side as well. The Lubo spot, the Lubo Mia. Just uh, every single game. But there we go, both peeking around at the same time. Toshi does somehow, somehow manage to take down Vey as well. So now, advantage to Apex. And this Apex is looking like a bad choice currently. They've really got this. Laying down the fire towards Cash. Just puff anyone for thinking about peeking him. So that Enrio has to pick up that bomb. Has to think about Has to do something here. And Zabs are trying to open up. Trying to get this site ready to go. Because Enrio is on the push on the ball. He's trying to get towards that. So he does get the tag on the season. But not the frag. Toxie holding down the cross. Oh. And a flurry of frags for Apex. So they get the first round on the board there. And like you mentioned, the A site was just, the push wasn't on. They needed no, to give happen. it up, make it make a tactical move and rotate round because they were strong there. Yep. This time, Kex is going to get back on the stairs. To see, can he make any frags across? No, he's not. He thinks it's a B and it's not. It's an A. So they're getting in position for that B. They're going to be well out of position here. And Chubi has taken down Toxio already. That means they're going to be well in towards the A site. Kex does take down Enrio. But you can see Phantasmagoria all moving into place already. And there is just two members left, but Cesium manages to even things up. Chubi goes down, two on two. Cesium tagged up heavily, goes down. Leonidas now last man standing. If I could just find him. Had come around the backside, spots someone in Overlook. Or at least he thinks he does. Was anyone there? That's the question. 
Vey is. Jermaine was. He's dropped down. He's got Leonidas to the side. He's trying to peek for him. There he is. He's just spotted him in spawn. He's going to surely come around. Leonidas, did he spot him? That's the question. They're going to move around. He's going to get copped. Position. Juby's going to sneak around the back. Sorry, Vey is going to sneak around the back. If he ever gets there in time, he's too late. Leonidas gets taken down and takes down Jermaine. And now it's Vey versus Leonidas. Oh, Leo shows himself far too openly for Vey there. In a one-on-one, -on -one, the barrel is exploded on Leo's face. Wow. Uh, that's not something you want in the morning, Jesus. So, let's pick up with Chuby here. Nice spawn as well with his brother. And the attacking side, this is down to them to really get that A push going. It stopped, it, it halted last time for some unknown reason. I think it was because Nick was very aggressive. Toshi there, they were in favor in the street for Fnatic S. Takes down the Punisher. The Punisher is not punishing today. Fenrir has his way, so now Zabs are taking up the mantle again. So mid chops getting control. Feeling aggressive and ready to peak. Smoke blooming out to help his teammates get into cover. Now in Rio can continue the charge towards A. Chuby alongside. There is a man waiting in A. Who is that? Who somehow snuck in? It's Cesium. And Cesium could really do some damage. In Rio dropping the nade onto Toxchi. So now can Cesium hold off? Can he wait? Can he not shoot his load too early? Seems to be an issue for a lot of gamers so far. So now sees him popping up, bobbing around, just try and get a peek onto Sasha. Spots one, spots another. Can you get a plus 10? Get to the plus 10. Zabzer and Chuby down. The A push is being held in place by one man. Oh, oh my god. Finally, Vey does some work. But well, <laughs> it's a bit harsh. the damage was done. Now Leonidas has to pick up the pieces. There is he? I think the overlay might be lying to me. It is Kex in a 1v2. And Rio and Chuby to find. I think that's lying as well. I think it's Vey left. Not too short. So now Kex up against it. Rock yeah, yeah, and Vey's there ready and waiting. And you can hear they're happy with that one. Yeah, Vey with four frags there. See, Vey. like he said, when it counts. He goes big. Vey is there going big. So good start for Phantasmagoria here in MR3 overtime. And well, now on the attacking half will be Apex. How are they going to do this one? Cesium went pretty big. He was yeah. holding that A site very well. The question is, can the rest of the team get in there? And, and I'm just intrigued. Taking that load too early. Well, that's for another time. But uh, <laughs> I think we are going live into this. So let's see how. Uh, let's see if Anna Magori can bring. This Let, let's see that, shall we? Yeah. Let's 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 let's, let's move on swiftly. Kex is uh, going down the side. Let's see where he goes. Going to see if he can line up that shot. Zabzan wasn't there. Went looking for it. It's easy. Um, He's going to work his way down shops and run down street here. And Mark is going to make his way down, trying to find it towards the A statue. Kex has been tagged up. Nades were rattling through. Mark has got himself in a sneaky corner, trying to keep a gl glance on that corner spot. And he knows somebody's there. He's got a good view on it, and Chuby does take down Cesium. So that's top fragger of the overtime so far down for Apex. Tokshe and Mark both in perfect position. Oh, Tokshe manages to land the tag. It was Chuby that was there. Gets the second peak. Kex takes down Vey. And Chuby, well, Tokshe can't quite land that frag. It is a difficult ask without Deagle. Tosses out Smoke. He's going to make a run for it. See if he can find Chuby down. Smoke's down. Can he make a rush on Chuby? Spots is in that corner. He's going to have one more coming round. It was Kex. Kex rushes in there. Jermaine takes down Kex though. But Mark's immediately onto Jermaine. They've got the A support. A site covered. I'm going to have Zabza just around the corner. Toxie is ready and waiting for him. There go the shots. He's going to come round, take him down. No problem. He's lined up an aid there. And Rio, the last man standing on street just ahead of him behind that car, takes down Toxie. The grenade actually took Leo down. Wow. I don't believe it. And now it's just Mark and then Rio, the two veterans of Call of Duty 4, facing off against each other. Bomb plant goes in. Apex really need to pick this one up, and he's oh. just been spotted. And Rio knows exactly where he is now as he makes his way in with that Deagle. Feeling confident, knows he's sat just behind that wall in that corner spot. He's going to come straight at him, line up the shots, yeah. and then Rio lands it. It's 3 1, and now they have match point in the bag. Yeah, the game is a foot, folks. And well, Rio's going to be happy with that. He just caught a glimpse of Mark Gaines in that basket and thought, well, I know where, know where he, is. he is. That round is mine, and if he messed that up, I'm sure he'd have been kicked himself. Let's have a little look at the spawns for Apex here. Both SMGs have a front spawn, so they can really dictate where they go. Let's see if they where they pick so far. Bit of a split. Toxic feeling aggressive towards eight. Drops out the nade, drops out the smokes. Raring to go. But Zabza first frag onto Kex. That is the way you want to go if you're a Phantasmagoria fan right now. He's now advantage firmly to the hands of the EU side. So, spinning on. Mark towards B. They're trying out this slow. 
well before, but will it work again? Can Toshi pin down the rotate like he did last time? Smoke booming out. In Rio, pretty aware now. He seemed to have cotton on to this. Chubi, nevertheless, tagged up. The United is trying to get some fire and get some pressure on. They holding firm in A. Now Jermaine adjusting accordingly. Send them back. They want this round. This is a round they desperately need. And wow, I didn't know this spot even existed. I'm learning things here, folks. And that tags are flying out. Zabzo on the prowl. The Deagle sees him onto Enrio. That B side is now open and willing to be pushed. Can anyone stop the Apex side? Zabza drops out the nade. Will someone run onto it? Sees him. Deagle onto Chuby. This is the push that they desperately need. The Punisher taking the frag onto Zabza. But it's 3v2. Pandas Magoria have this round almost in the bag. If Jermaine can connect the dots, he can. And one man stands. It's all on the Merc to keep themselves in this game. Toshi, can you go huge? That is the question. Tags from behind the face there. And you have your winners, folks. Well, well, I think you, he's happy with that I one. I think they was happy with that one. There's Mark Horner on the screen. They have lost this one, though, in one map as we... We kind of predicted, but it was a little bit closer than overtime. we thought. Yeah, Got to be happy with overtime, but 5-1 in overtime. Uh, well, 4-1 technically was the score. And there are your boys on stream. And Phantasmagoria are the winners here at Epic Land.